Good afternoon. My name is Ali Souza. On behalf of the Chanhassen High School 2012 graduates, we would like to welcome you to the second commencement exercise of Chanhassen High School. Buenas tardes. Mi nombre es Iván Contreras. En nombre de los graduandos del 2012, nos gustaría darles la más cordial bienvenida a la ceremonia de graduación de la segunda promoción de bachilleres del Liceo de Chanhassen. Konnichiwa, minasan. Watashi no namae wa Iwata Naho desu. Kono kouko o daihyo shite nihongo de hito koto aishatsu shitai to omoimasu. Chanhassen kouko no sotsugyo shike e yokoso. Добрый вечер, меня зовут Диана Краснокутска. Мы рады приветствовать вас на торжественном вручении дипломов выпускникам средней школы. Добро пожаловать! Boa tarde, meu nome é Daniel Peluso. Em nome de Chanhassen High School, dois mil e doze formados. Sejam bem-vindos e segunda formatura do Chanhassen High School. Kính, kính chào quý vị, con tên là Nam Phan, đại diện cho trường trung học Hồ Chen Hassan, trân trọng kính mời quý vị đến dự bữa lễ tết nghiệp ra trường năm 2012. Cảm ơn. สบายดีขนอยซื่อวินเซนต์โพติสานยินดีต้อนรับทุกทุกทานมาห่วมจบห้องเฮียน2012ขอบใจสวัสดีครับมีรานามสุขสมรสันดุสารันจิอานุและสเดย์พาสฮอนดีคุชิชเจนเอสในไฮสคูลวันนี้ขอบคุณ Assalamu alaikum. My name is Rida Sheikh. Hai. May I have you to the Chanhassen High School. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
You guys look terrific. They do. And we're very proud of you. Good afternoon, my name is Tim Dorway, and I have the honor of serving as the principal of Chanhassen High School. It is my pleasure to welcome you, members of the graduating class, District 112 staff, Superintendent Bauk, representatives of the Board of Education, parents, relatives, and friends to Chanhassen High School's second ever commencement exercises. Before we begin with our addresses this afternoon, I would like to first thank our student musicians and their directors for sharing their talents with us. The Chanhassen High School Symphonic Winds under the direction of Mr. Paul Swanson and the Chanhassen High School Concert Choir under the direction of Mrs. Sarah Gilbertson. I'd also like to take a moment to introduce those on stage with us today and I would just ask that as I call their name, they stand and remain standing and that you hold your applause until all of them have been recognized. Superintendent Dr. Jim Bauk, Ms. Kathy Gallagher, our Director of Teaching and Learning, board members Mr. Jim Leone, Ms. Carol Bob, Ms. Lisa Anderson, Ms. Heather Nelson, Mr. Tim Klein, Mr. Fred Berg, Assistant Principal Mr. Jim Swearingen, Assistant Principal Mr. Mark Schoquist, Assistant Principal Mr. Dick Unger, and our staff speaker today, Mr. Colin Bond. <laughs> Mr. Swearingen will introduce our first speaker today. Good afternoon. It is my great honor to introduce our first student speaker of the afternoon, Ms. Allie Souza. Allie is the daughter of Fred and Bridget Souza. While at Chanhassen High School, Allie served as a link leader to incoming freshman students, participated in marching band, and was a member of our speech team. In her junior year, she was a finalist at the Grand National Speech Tournament, and she is leaving tomorrow afternoon with a contingent of four other students from the speech team headed for this year's Grand National Tournament in Indianapolis. Outside of school, Allie plays club soccer and enjoys spending time on the lake at her cabin. She cites her experience as captain on the speech team as one of her most influential experiences in high school. Next year, she will attend the University of Minnesota in the Twin Cities in the College of Liberal Arts. Her address today is entitled, The Path We Choose. Please give a warm welcome to your student council president, Ms. Ali Souza. Thank you, Mr. Swearingen. Good afternoon, faculty, family, friends, and of course, the class of 2012. When I began my quest to create the perfect commencement speech, I immediately went to the most reliable and respected source, a source that has been with me throughout my entire high school career, Wikipedia. <laughs> but even after I finished my reliable wiki search and wasted time on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, and Instagram, I realized that I really had no idea exactly what to say to you all today. But the fact that I didn't know what to say helped me realize that this whole graduating from high school thing, this new path we're going to follow, is kind of frightening, and none of us truly know what our future path holds. And you know what? That's scary. It's kind of unsettling to think about how in 10 years or so we're going to be on our own, living life, paying our own bills, making our own meals, and doing our own laundry. And when we take a moment, to realize and reflect, we see that we know who we have been and what we have done up until this point. And we know how to handle most of what life brings us, but we have no idea what the future holds. And that is kind of frightening, but at the same time, kind of really exciting. As the second graduating class from Chanhassen High School, we have experienced a great deal. In our tween years, we bonded over the excitement of getting our first screen names on AIM, our first Pokemon cards, and our first portable CD players. 
We bonded over the disappointment of the Backstreet Boys splitting up and seeing the last episode of The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius. But for most of us, our journey together started at the Freshman Center. We were high school freshmen, but not in the high school. It was almost like we were our own little island, literally floating in between the middle school and high school. Although splitting in between two high schools seemed tragic at the time, we had something cool to look forward to, a brand new school. We were the first sophomore class to step foot into Chanhassen High School, a big, beautiful, sparkling school waiting for us to christen it with our presence. From the moment we stepped onto the freshly waxed floors, we began to create a path to our future at Chanhassen High School. And this path that we started on three years ago has led us to the end of our senior year. It may seem like it flew by, but great memories were made along the way. And now it seems like there are a million different paths to choose from. But I think before we get swept up by this storm of emotion, <laughs> getting ready to send us into our future, we should take a step back and truly reflect. We are graduating from high school right now. This is kind of a big deal. <laughs> All of those years of studying or not studying for some of us has paid off. We're going to leave this ceremony and be free to choose our next path. And we are starting this new path with a lot of accomplishments under our belt that we should be proud of. This year alone, we had conference champions in boys cross country, alpine skiing, and swimming, as well as volleyball, hockey, basketball, golf, and track. On top of that, we had our adaptive soccer and softball teams make it to state. Our boys basketball and football teams made it farther in the playoffs than they have ever before. We were recognized on the state level as well as the national level in speech, DECA, art, and the one-act play. Our bands and choirs were recognized as top performers on the regional and state levels. And to top it all off, we finally got our senior privilege. Being able to leave during eighth period seemed like the perfect way to be rewarded for all the hard work and accomplishments we have achieved over the years. It was a little victory for our class and served as just another highlight to add to our path through Chanhassen High School. Once we leave here today, we are embarking on a brand new path in our lives. This path is a little more fuzzy and dark than what we are used to. It is an undefined, unfamiliar path that is exciting, but scary. It's also a really cool opportunity. We are faced with a pretty big choice. We must decide how the path to the rest of our lives will begin. We can decide where this path goes, what we do along this path, and how far this path goes. And as we take a step forward and look back on the familiar path we have walked on for so long, we should take a moment to reflect. Reflect on who we were, what we did, and how we walked our paths. In 2005, Steve Jobs delivered a commencement speech at Stanford University, where he reflected specifically on the path he took after high school. Although his college career was very short, it had a significant impact on his life. Steve Jobs spoke about how he sat in on a class that he had some real interest in, but normally would not have been able to take. Believe it or not, it was a calligraphy class. This calligraphy class was extremely fascinating to him and left a lasting impression. And many years later, when Steve Jobs started to design the first Mac computer, the skills he learned in that calligraphy class helped him create the design for the first Mac computer. If we take Steve Jobs' example as we venture down this new path, let's strive to go into it with an open mind to opportunities that may come our way, because you never know how it's going to impact you later on in life. So, I am challenging you, class of 2012, to take a moment to reflect on the path you have taken through high school and create a new one with an open mind. Let's look back on all the things that went right and all the things that went wrong and learn from them. Let's take the lessons we learned to create a vision of what this new, scary, and exhilarating path will look like. This challenge to create our future path is similar to the one we had when we took our first steps onto the freshly waxed floors of Chanhassen High School just three years ago. We helped create the footings and forged a path that future seniors will walk on in the years to come. We can take comfort in the fact that we created a meaningful, successful path for ourselves and others at Chanhassen High School, and we can take our first steps into the future with confidence and enthusiasm. 
Our class motto states that the question is not always where we stand, but which direction we are going. So, class of 2012, let's proudly take our diplomas and step onto that path and walk into our future. Thank you.
Good afternoon, I'm Dick Unger, and I am the, proud to be the Assistant Principal and Athletic Director at Chanhassen High School. The graduating class has selected Mr. Cullen Bond as their staff speaker this afternoon. Mr. Bond just completed his sixth year of service to students in our school district, where he currently teaches primarily U.S. history. He obtained both his undergraduate and specialist degrees from Minnesota State Mankato. Outside of school, Cullen is a proud family man. He's got a wife, Jen, and children, Avery and Harper. In his free time, he enjoys playing golf, taking long walks on the beach. Mr. Bond is extreme, find that hard to believe? <laughs> Mr. Bond is extremely nervous about following Ali Souza and freely admits that he's setting up Sam Bagley to look like the rock star that he is. <laughs> His address today is, is titled simply, Thank You for the Memories. Please welcome Mr. Cullen Bond. A little, uh, little different without my wireless mic being, up, uh, being able to walk up and down the rows. As you can see, I'm a pretty emotional person. And what gets me, though, is graduates, as we're uh, kind of gathering out there, everybody was like, hey, are you nervous? Are you? Not really nervous or anything like that, but I was amazed at the people that came up and asked me, are you going to cry? And so then, when I went back and I was looking at my speech one last time, I got to the end and I started getting choked up. I'm like, jeepers, it may happen. So if I do shed a tear, I, uh, it, you know, it's a, it's a time to celebrate, and, and for four years I got to see you guys grow. I was there along with you, and, and that's when we talk about the memories today, so. All right. Uh, welcome, graduates, parents, siblings, family members, and friends. Uh, what a fantastic and monumental day for everybody sitting before me. It was like yesterday, the class of 2012 was walking through those doors at the Freshman Center. The first day you were dressed to impress, iPods on not really knowing what the next four years hold in store for you. But look at you now, confident young adults, walking on cloud nine, ready to graduate high school. You wonder, gosh, you know, where did all the time go? All the memories that you and I have shared over those last four years. From the ninth grade center and Mike Surjans, driver's education, calling me a wide load, Sharon, it's a good story, I'll tell you about it someday. To Janelle Cloth, remember U.S. history? The shot to get out of the quiz, where's Janelle? Remember that? Did it go in? No, I don't think so, I think it rimmed out, so we still had to take the quiz. <laughs> what about the good times we've shared on the ball fields, student council, hacky sack club, or even hockey supervision, right Andrew? Oh, I missed that mustache. <laughs> See, folks, the class of 2012 is very special to me, and I'd like to take a, a minute to explain why. In my six years of teaching, all of them here in District 112, I've had the opportunity to be with these folks each step of the way for all four years, and that's special. After talking with many of the graduates about what they would like my theme to be, a lot of them focused on, well, just... Share your experiences, what are your memories? Things that you're gonna take with you. The tough part for me was narrowing it down. Mr. Uh, Doorway said try to keep it around five minutes, so uh, with all those memories, we'd be here late into the evening. But I tried to do my best. So freshman year, I had many of, you, uh, many of you in world history, I had many more in driver's education, the classroom portion of it. Then as Jan Hassan High School opened your sophomore year, I was able to teach many of you in US history. That year is special because you turn 16 and you get your driver's license. Nerve-wracking for the parents, okay, nerve-wracking for me, but a freedom, an opportunity for you guys and gals to go to Cadoba on your own, right? To go to other places without mom and dad having to give you a ride. After the sophomore year, I was able to teach American government. Seeing you guys at prom, right? Dressed up, some of you look just awesome, right? It's fun to see you guys cleaned up from, you know, kind of the ball fields and stuff like that. Then this last year, your senior year, what a fun year. I had the opportunity to teach you world studies. I had the opportunity to speak with you about what are your plans for next year? What colleges are you going to go to? What are your future plans? To see you grow from a freshman four years ago to where you are today is something that I will never forget. 
Now, looking back over the past four years, it gives me a great sense of pride and accomplishment. Knowing that I've had the two opportunity to work with so many of you and to hope that I've made a difference in your life. So today, class of 2012, I'd like to take uh, just a minute to slow things down for a second and say thank you. Thank you for those memories. Memories that I will take with me for the rest of my life. I thank you for everything that you've done for me and my colleagues here at Chanhassen High School. You helped shape the person I am today and the teacher I am today. Physically, I would have uh, liked if you could have helped taken a little off the midsection, but hey, I can't complain. I want you to know there will always be a special place in my heart. And for that, I thank you. To the students I have had in class, all the clubs, sports, and for the students that I never had a chance to work with, I want you to know that if you ever need anything in the future, that I'm always just a phone call or an email away. Now, it wouldn't be fitting to end without some sort of advice, as for the last four years, I'm sure I've given you a lot of good advice. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus on five areas, okay? The first one, number five, is enjoy life. Because it goes by so fast. So fast. I was just talking with Miranda Peterson the other day, and we were talking about, hey, world, world history, and the next thing you know, boom, she's student-aiding seventh hour, and she's done. It goes by fast, so cherish every moment. Number four, make the most of your opportunities, learn from your mistakes, and remember nobody's perfect as much as we try to be. Take for example Aaron Wolke, great student, <laughs> great student, awesome person, so close to perfection. She even taught me Miley Cyrus in the hoedown throwdown for the first ever Dancing with the Teachers event, and Aaron, I apologize again for blowing that for us, that was my bad. But there's one little hiccup with Miss Wolke, and it starts with a Y, and it ends in an Yankees. She's a Yankees fan. <laughs> now we can, we've all heard Aaron's laugh, okay? But Aaron, I hope that one day, where is Aaron? But Aaron, hope, I hope one day you'll see the light and you'll become a Twins fan, and just know that Mary Welter and I, we haven't given up on you yet, okay? <laughs> I'm just playing, Aaron. Number three, show your smile. At times, life is going to be tough. It's going to try and get you down, but always try to find the, positive in, the positives in things. And remember, with adversity comes prosperity. Number two, this one's pretty simple. Just be nice. Remember, as Avery always states, Daddy, sharing is caring. Avery's our four-year-old. It's true. And the last piece of advice, you guys, would be to cherish the memories. And I, I know we've had, I was talking with my wife on the way here, and, and I said, geez, maybe I should mention this person I should talk about. She goes, honey, you got to keep it, got to keep it at five minutes. I said, I know. I know we've had a lot, we've been through a lot, you guys. And I thank you for that. And even though I didn't call your name, please know that it still is in my heart. The last one is cherish your memories. These changes are going to occur in your life daily. There will be ups, there will be downs, high times and low times. Money will come and go. You'll have different jobs along the way, and people will walk in and out of your lives. But something nobody can take from you are those memories that you create. As my speaking time draws to an end today, I would again like to say thank you for the dedication, the hard work, and all the memories we have shared together. As you graduate and move on in life, I wish you the best in whatever endeavor you, <clears throat> you undertake and hope your future is filled with many more wonderful memories. It's been a fun ride. Class of 2012, keep it real. Thank you. Our second student speaker this afternoon is Sam Bagley, son of Doug and Kathy Bagley. While a student at Chan, Sam has been involved in DECA, National Honor Society, Key Club, Speech Team, and our track program. His favorite high school memory is from his sophomore year, 
when he performed as a backup singer in the China Dale China Day field trip show. His group won. Outside of school, Sam owns his own business, Sam's Royal Lawn Service, and he enjoys longboarding and golfing. He would like us all to remember what his mother always told him, eat your fruits and vegetables. <laughs> Next year, Sam will be attending the University of Minnesota, Minnesota's Carlson School of Management. After graduation, he hopes to become, enjoy a career as a venture capitalist. His speech today is entitled, Reaching for the Stars. Please welcome Sam Bagley. Now, before I begin, I'd like to do something that I think all of us graduates would like to do right about now. <laughs> Beautiful. I know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished faculty, administration, family, and friends, and of course you, class of 2012, thank you for this opportunity to speak to you today. Back in Chen Asin Elementary School, it was my dream to be right here, in this moment, speaking to you. When we were younger, we were always told to reach for the stars. However, I took this district motto literally. And I know this may be difficult to believe, but back in elementary school, I was the short kid. <laughs> yeah, I know, shocker. <laughs> now, because I was vertically challenged, I thought I would not be able to reach the stars. And I was crushed, but not defeated. You see, I made it my mission, to be remembered as the tallest person ever. Until I found out that being tall was hereditary. <laughs> and the cards were not stacked high in my favor. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. <laughs> Fortunately, I learned that reaching for the stars does not have a height requirement. And for this, I am thankful because you do not need to be tall to be successful. And as we have all grown over the past 12 years, we've gained a better understanding of the world around us, striving to figure out how to reach our stars. No matter if that entails receiving a lead role in the school's musical, or becoming an all-conference athlete, or even just trying to figure out what you're reaching for. Just as I wasn't blessed with the gift of seeing over the lockers for a majority of my educational career, <laughs> we as a class haven't been given an ideal situation either. We've been to three different schools in the past five years, each time dealing with the transition of a new building and new classmates. We entered Chan Essen High School as the middle child between our big brother juniors and little sister freshmen. And we're not the first class to graduate Chan Essen High School. We aren't even the first class to spend, to spend four years here. But regardless of these factors, we still all found ways to be successful. And that is what I would like to talk about, success. Now, before you tune me out and drift off into your pleasant daydream with unicorns, fairies, and other mystical creatures, just hear me out. I'm not here to regurgitate Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People or simply repeat to you the overused stories of iconic figures like Walt Disney. Classmates, I'm here to share our experience as students and as friends to define our definition of success. I mean, that's the thing that everybody wants, right? The big paycheck, the TV show, the job, the life. But really, what is success? Nobody has a good universal definition. Maybe because to every person, success means something different. It's not about your bank statements or your cars. It's about the people that you're surrounded by. To me, success is the student that stopped at nothing to bring world-renowned speaker Chris Abani to our school. To me, success is the teacher 
that spends her summer vacation traveling to Ecuador on her own dime to help underprivileged children with cancer. To me, success is the two students that apply for the Rotary Scholarship only to donate the money to a nonprofit organization in honor of a classmate not able to walk across the stage today. Folks, we're surrounded by these people in this room. And they are successful not because they receive recognition for their actions, but because recognition was not the intent of their actions. Now, there are two obstacles standing in our way to success. The first is time. There are only so many hours in a day, days in a week, and weeks in a year. But it's not about the amount of time that we have. It's about how we spend the time that we do have. Of course, spending time with family and friends is important because we never know when their time is up. The other obstacle is sitting in your chair right now, yourself. Now, it's not gonna be easy. I'll be the first to tell you that life is gonna knock you down more times than you'll be able to count. But to conquer all the self-doubt, criticism, and rejection, we just need to say, I know who I am. I know what I believe in, and that is all that matters. Actor Will Smith once said, you don't set out to build a wall. We can't say that we wanna be professional athletes and CEOs overnight. Instead, we need to say, I'm going to lay this brick, right here, right now, as perfectly as a brick can be laid. And I'm going to do that every day. Soon enough, we have a wall. We have all built our walls of education over the past 12 years. And after today, we get to build the rest of our lives. One big misunderstanding in today's world is this difference between fame and greatness. You see, fame is based on what you get, but greatness? Well, that is based on what you give. The great people in history and in this room do not expect to be noticed, appreciated, or recognized for what they do. We are not a famous class known for some outrageous action or sentimental award, but rather, I will remember our class for the hard work, determination, friendship, and leadership that I've seen in every person in this room. Over the past 12 years, we've learned, laughed, and lived together. During these years, we have not merely been a group of people assembled in a school, but rather a community that has supported and guided one another along the way. And tonight, we celebrate one last time together. We celebrate a transition, a bridge between our past accomplishments to the many bright years our future has in store for us graduating class of 2012. Take a moment to look around you. See the person on your left and on your right. Look at your fellow graduates, your parents, teachers, and friends. Thank these people, because without them, you would not be here today. So class of 2012, we have an amazing opportunity ahead of us. When we walk across this stage and out those doors, we have the power to write our stories, to reach for our stars. And when the time comes to get off this crazy roller coaster, what is it that you want to be remembered for? Thank you. At our commencement ceremony last June, we were honored to be able to present the dis district's first ever honorary diploma. This spring, I was approached by an impressive group of seniors about honoring the life of a young man who would have graduated with this class of 2012. With that request in hand, I solicited the input of our building leadership team, our department chairs, the Chanhassen High School Parent Leadership Council, district administration, and most importantly, our student graduation committee, and student council leadership. Their input was unanimous. 
It is my honor to introduce you to Rachel Berg, Brenna Justy, Amelia Lapidus, Blake Johnson, and Jesse Cleave, who will be sharing their nomination with you. It is an honor to request this honorary diploma for Mitchell Thomas Chapokis. Mitch was a student at Chanhassen Elementary School, a classmate to many of us. He was born with a concave chest. At the age of seven, he was diagnosed with Marfan syndrome, a genetic connective tissue disorder that destructively, destructively affects different parts of the body, including the heart. The condition often gave him headaches and stabbing pains in his chest that literally took his breath away. Mitch began take, taking medication to keep his heart rate and blood pressure down. As a result, he wasn't able to play any contact sports. Mitch dealt with one thing after another, but he always kept a smile on his face, thinking of all of the good in his life and never focusing on the bad. Mitch injured his leg just as he was beginning to adjust to the Marfan syndrome. The bump that appeared below his knee didn't seem that unusual at first, but when it wasn't healing as expected, x-rays revealed unusual bone growth. In 2002, Mitch was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, a rare and difficult form of bone cancer. The cancer had manifested itself in Mitchell a way that had previously never been seen before. After 11 rounds of chemotherapy and over 30 rounds of radiation, Mitch still wasn't done fighting. Through all of this, he never stopped smiling. Mitch left us on April 11, 2003, at the age of nine. During the last days of his life, he talked a lot about heaven with his father, Steve. Mitch wanted to know if he would be able to ride his bike in heaven. He also wondered if he'd be able to play baseball, run, and simply go for a walk. All things that had been taken away from him at a young age. These are all things that we take for granted every day, not seeing that these simple things are really blessings. Mitch was amazing in many ways and will always be remembered by so many people because although he knew that the cancer could take his life, he looked beyond himself and instead to the other kids in the hospital and their families. Mitch recognized that some of them needed help and encouragement. Despite everything that was happening in Mitchell's life, all he wanted to focus on was the good in helping others. Mitch wanted to help these children so much that he made his dad, Steve, pinky swear to help families of kids with cancer when he would no longer be with us. The Shapokas family has, been more than, has done more than he could have, that could have ever been expected. Since its beginning in 2003, the Miracles of Mitch Foundation has maintained Mitchell Shapokas' vision with a clear and simple mission, to support the families of children with cancer. Steve, Becky, and Melissa Shapokas have created a safety net for the, new, for the never ending needs and requests of these children who are continuing the fight just as Mitch did. The Miracles of Mitch Foundation brings in over a million dollars each year. I know that if Mitch were with, still with us today, he would be amazed by the inspiration that he has brought to his family and everyone in our community. We also believe that he would be up here speaking in our place, not talking about all his accomplishments that he managed in his short time with us, but inspiring all of us to never stop fighting and to be thankful every day for everything that we have been blessed with. Although Mitch is unable to be here with us today, we want it to be known that he is and always will be a part of the 2012 graduating class at Chanhassen High School. We would be honored if his family would accept this diploma on his behalf, and we'd like to welcome them to the stage at this time. The diploma reads, this certifies that Mitchell Thomas Chapokas has satisfactorily completed the prescribed criteria of the schools of Eastern Carver County and is therefore awarded this honorary diploma.
I think you've seen lots of evidence this afternoon about why I believe this graduating class before us is tremendous. Our school community has leaned heavily on them for their leadership, asking them to help lead and create a culture of success as well as a tradition of service to others. Here are a few highlights of what they've accomplished. They've completed dozens of service projects providing for those in need. These have included packing meals and entertaining people in nursing homes and homeless shelters and providing care packages for deployed troops overseas, to name a few. They've competed at a national level in DECA, speech, debate, and the visual arts. They've helped lead our athletic teams to 11 Minnesota Conference Championships. Last week, they accepted academic and athletic scholarships in excess of $2.5 million. And they've been admitted to the likes of the University of Montana, University of Minnesota, UND, St. Cloud State, St. John's, Normandale, the College of St. Benedict, Coe College, the University of St. Thomas, the Fashion Institute of Technology, Central Florida, the University of Notre Dame, DePaul University, Jackson Community College, Drake University, and multiple branches of our armed service. And that's just a few. Class of 2012, our school community owes you a big congratulations, and most importantly, thank you. Chair Leone is the principal of Shanhassen High School, and on behalf of the faculty and staff who've had the privilege of working with these students, it is my honor to present to you and the school board of the schools of Eastern Carver County, the graduating class of 2012 for the awarding of their diplomas. Wow, you guys really do look good. Superintendent Bauk, fellow board members, faculty, staff, family and friends, on behalf of the board of directors of Independent School District 112, in all the schools of Eastern Carver County, I am proud to accept the class of 2012 for the awarding of their diplomas. Students, congratulations to you and your families. We're so proud of you and wish you the best as you continue on your life's journey. In a few seconds, each student in the graduating class will be called by name to cross the stage and receive his or her diploma. It is the culmination of 13 years of education captured in one brief and special moment. As I asked the class this morning during rehearsal to honor, respect, and support one another during these presentations, I ask you tonight to please hold your cheering and applause until all the students have been called and cross the stage and each student first to last has enjoyed that special moment for themselves and for their families. Readers, at this time, please bring the students forward. Austin Travis Albrecht. Jacob Allen Baker. Marissa Christine Omquist. Andrew Robert Barrett. Thomas Anthony Amundsen. Nancy Becerra Belbuena. Kylie Jean Anderson. Haley Kathleen Becker. Christian Thomas Anderson. Mary Elizabeth Beecraft. Daniel Lee Olson. Natalie Marie Lairkey. Yeah, Catherine Rose Garkey. Monica Lorraine Onsorg. Allison Elizabeth Souza. Adrian Gail Scarlato. 
Elorium Raquel Pena. Michaela Ann Weisfenig. Jacob Curtis Anderson. Rachel Ann Berg. <whistles> Jessica Kathleen Anderson. Haley Jo Jessen. Julie Catherine Anderson. John Anthony Biebighauser. Catherine Ruth Anderson. Eric Peter Bigowet. Zane Kenneth Elwood Anderson. Christopher Gary Burkholm. Brandon Michael Arnold. Ryan Timothy Blanchard. Sarah Elizabeth Bachman. Julianne Elizabeth Blomberg. Anthony Joseph Bagley. Ryan Bradford Blomquist. Samuel Douglas Bagley. Kayleen Joy Boos. Caroline Jean Braden. Sophia Ann Cohn. Tyler James Brady. Ivan Leonardo Contreras. Zachary Francis Brandt. Laura Therese Cummings. Benjamin Mark Bratrud. Ariane Marie Dahl. Thomas Martin Buen. Andrew Simon Davis. Michael Richard Bush. Holly Jean Davis. Natalie Ann Bush. Jensina Rose Davis. Alexander James Cawthorn. Jack Connors Dockendorf. Mitchell David Callister. Michael Alexander Dodson. Ryan Gary Callister. Elizabeth Ann Doro. Jacob Stephen Carlson. Corinne Rose Downey. Jordan Zachary Caesar. Alexandra Shea Dragos. Michael Alexander Surjantz. Dylan Charles Drapp. Alexandra Ray Chapman. Aaron David Duncan. Zachary Kurt Charter. Andrea Corinne Dvorak. Brittany Sophia Chase. Scott Richard Echternat. David Michael Chenier. Maverick Hunter Edmonds. Caitlin Rachel Clem. Gavin Lee Eggerset. John Michael Eichens. James Philip Grace. Kenton Eric Eklund. Catherine Therese Grappentine. Zachary Charles Essie. Samuel Carl Grausom. Jenna Diane Iwanica. Hunter Robert Graves. Brett John Fahey. Lauren Nicole Greenside. Macy Nicole Feldick. Casey Faye Harstead. Catherine Mary Fishnick. Zachary Michael Hanna. Andrew Joseph Forsland. Molly Elizabeth Hansen. Samantha Renee Franks. Ryan Alexander Hansen. Grant Connor Gale. Samuel Kellen Hartwick. Shannon Renee Galloway. Spencer Patrick Hawkins. Nathaniel Quinton Gaskin. Cameron James Haney. 
David Daniel Gay. Woo! Zachary David Heitkamp. Maverick Gensoli. Yeah. Caitlin Amelia Hellendrung. Jack Richard Getty. Jacob Eli Hendrickson. Stephen John Gitson. Yeah. Emily Ann Hennen. Brenna Nicole Justy. Sean Michael Hennen. George John Glaros III. Peter Joseph Hernandez. Lauren Kaylee Goldstein. Trevor Lyle Hilk. Cassandra Deanne Gossett. Michaela Mills Keener. Diana Natasha Krasnikutsky. Lauren Noel Keller. Ellen Marie Hoffman. Connor John Kelly. Kelsey Ann Hoffman. Kieran Cole Kelly. Nathan James Holasik. Ashley Brooke Kemp. Kevin James Holmes. Chase David Kessler. John Michael Huffman. Drake John Kelber. Megan Marie Hugh. Jesse Ron Cleave. John Wesley Hughesby. Lindsay Olivia Klingelhutz. Kendra Anna Tasha Iliff. Rachel Valeria Klingelhutz. Lucera Isaguere. Janelle, Janelle Marie Cloth. Naho Iwata. Matthew Elliot Klukas. Nathan James Jacobs. Matthew James Klukas. Andrew Scott Jacobs. John Michael Cook. Katie Ann Jancic. Kristen Marie Kochinski. Julia Joy Jarvis. Lauren Elizabeth Kohler. Kevin Robert Jensen. Marissa Brianne Kraus. Paul Christopher Jobin. Thomas Michael Kraus. Bailey Katherine Johnson. Mackenzie Joe Krochak. Blake Gordon Johnson. Travis Paul Kronk. Rachel Ashley Kardashian. Connor Philip Lane. Patrick Michael Calgren. Taylor Marie McCormick. Riley Catherine Hine. Michael Thomas McGraw. Anna May Lano. Parker Lee McHale. Amelia Ray Lapidus. Stephen Arthur Mead. Daniel Dale Larson. Christine Taylor Meisner. Rebecca Ann Larson. Spencer James Meredith. Grant Eric Latnissian. Rachel Paulette Mickadin. Wendy Susan Lemke. Austin Michael Miller. William John Lenson. Samantha Jane Miller. Cassandra Ann Lindquist. Micah Curtis Mills. Janika Faye Lindsay. <laughs> Nicholas Alexander Manati. Maria Elizabeth Lizignoli. Christopher Michael Moore. Vincent Joseph Lombardo. Hannah Margaret Mortensen. Bryony Ellen Lovett. Benjamin Aaron Murphy. Austin John Luring. Daniel Robert Murphy. John Thomas Lynch. <laughs> Kathleen Elizabeth Murphy. <laughs> Marissa Ann Lynch. Michael Robert Myers. Danielle Jean Magnuson. April Christine No. Theodore Guthrie Meka. 
Rachel Louise Nelson. Matthew James Malik Zadigan. Kayla Marie Ness. Shelby May Martin. Austin Thomas Nevin. Tiff Allison Martz. Mackenzie Lee Nix. Caitlin Jordan Matson. Andrew John Nornis. Samantha Marie Mattingly. Elizabeth Addie O'Neill. Caitlin Francis Matson. Christopher David Pulsifer. Garrett Thomas McCarthy. Nathan Russell Razor. Christopher James Odson. Sarah Marie Rasmussen. Nicole Marie Oldsberg. Eric Paul Raymakers. Adam Richard Olson. <laughs> Ashley Elizabeth Raymond. <laughs> Alec Bolin Olson. Ishmael Rebollar Gonzalez. Thomas Ardell Olson. Adam Richard Renfro. Christopher Boyet Onofre. Mark Stephen Revere. William Edmund Ortman. Justin Thomas Reese. Matthew Douglas Ott. Ryan James Rugby. Cole Robinson Otto. Ashlyn Dawn Rogers. Justin Tyler Parent. Taylor Marie Ruel. Jordan Ray Paschke. Tyler Joel Rust. Alexandra Rochelle Patti. Frederick James Ryan. Trevor Jacob Patterson. Kelly Ann Ryan. Megan Marie Peltier. Rachel Elizabeth Ryan. Daniel Real Peluso. Adam Christopher Sampson. Taylor Krista Perrine. Briar Brennan Sanders. Miranda Lois Peterson. Suksamran Singh Sandhu. Nam Tang Phan. Samuel David Schlegelmilch. Caitlin Ann Phipps. Danielle May Schmidt. Vincent Gail Potosan. Megan Emma Schnetzer. Margaret Christine Porter. Charles Siegfried Joseph Scholler. Joseph Thomas Price. Emily Constance Hope Schubert. Michaelin Marie Prince. Victoria Jean Stege. Elena Joy Pakulski. Sydney Bergen Storm. Caroline Bree Schultz. Caitlin Marie Strowing. Alyssa Cole Schwartz. Hannah Jo Swanson. Morgan Elizabeth Sefkar. Tamara Marie Swanson. Mackenzie Ann Sefkar. Austin Reed Swain. Sydney Nora Seguin. Grace Margaret Swenson. Ritha Ahmed Sheikh. Austin John Robert Tykert. Shadia Ahmad Shalabi. Johanna Rose Phil. Madeline Rose Shedevi. Jordan Robert Thompson. Timothy John Schiffer. Lindsay Jean Turner. Lauren Mariah Sherson. Abigail Lynn Udston. Tessa Paige Siegfried. 
Taylor and Utech. Austin Todd Simonson. Kang Vang. Jacob Robert Simon. Catherine Marie Vanette. Hannah Schultenover Sinner. Alexandra Paige Bremen. Mackenzie Ann Smith. Danielle Alexandra Wall. Madeline Ann Smith. Tanner Reed Walsh. Marissa Jordan Smith. Dylan Michael Walter. Shelby Lynn Smith. Paige Elizabeth Wandling. Tyler Jeffrey Smith. Grace Marie Waslowski. Austin Guman Soini. Olivia Lynn Weber. Alexander Ryan Sparks. Chandler Elaine Weir. Jackson Tormy Spingler. Mary Jermaine Welter. Joseph Jude Michael Stark. Matthew Harrison West. Nicholas James Statsik. Jenna Marie Wolf. John Douglas Stearns. Aaron Marie Wolke. Adam Edward Stadronski. Jenna Johanna Wormuth. Allison Marie White. Hannah Purcell Renholt. Stacy Victoria Hooley. Serena Rose Ilatello. Mariah Brooke Williams. Dylan Craig Young. Megan Lynn Williams. Benjamin Edward Zeman. Dane Michael Williamson. Emma Louise Zimmer. Natalie Brooke Wilson. Amanda Margaret Zorhoff. Paige Elizabeth Winneroski. Angela Gabrielle Schwartz. Brittany Marie Winslow. John David Witzig. graduates, make sure you save your tassels right now. It's my honor to present to you the graduated class of 2012 from Chanassen High School. We ask, we ask that parents and guests please remain standing until all graduates have exited. Mr. Swanson, you may begin the recessional.